What's up, guys? Willie Sons back with another video. It's gonna be a quick one. Um, my buddy was selling some books, so I bought some books from him. Um, I should be able to double my money on this, I'm thinking. I'm um, hoping. Uh, but I definitely didn't get them for like super cheap. I paid up, gave him a fair price for them just because he's my friend. So it was just random stuff, to be honest. But some really cool books in here. We'll get to them in a second. Super Villains. Thor number 277, Hella Appearance, cool little book. Third, Red Sonia, Infinity War number one. This is a newsstand copy, so that's really cool. Uh, Swamp Thing, iconic cover, classic cover, but it's beat. <laughs> um, Green Lantern, or DC Special Presents number 20. Venom, or Tooth and Claw number one, Venom vs. Wolverine. All like kind of like little keys, kind of Incredible Hulk and versus Wolverine or and in Wolverine. This is the first reprint of Incredible Hulk 180 to 181 or something like that. Newsstand Tales of Astonish Volume 2 reprints of Submariner, reprint of Tiger Shark. So these aren't like really expensive, but again, I'm sure once the Submariner spec, these are going to be popular. And then a reprint of number one. And then this is a cool one. I think this is, I don't know if this is the first Wonder Girl or first time Wonder Woman is Wonder Girl, but it's a 12 center. I mean, it's beat, but still a cool book there. Um, and then these were definitely like the cooler books and actually some pretty big books in here. I say big, like decent books. So we got Wolverine number two. I think it's just a Silver Samurai appearance, nothing crazy. Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man. Iconic cover of him punching the Hulk, 328. Action Comics number one, Homage, Amazing Spider-Man 306, like a 25, $30 book. Some Silver Age Daredevil, number 42, First Appearance of Jester. Cool book there. Wolverine number eight, iconic cover as well. It's got a tear, but besides that, the book's pretty mint. Um, iconic cover there. This is a really nice book, Tales of Suspense number 94, First Appearance of Modoc. It's, again, not, it's a low-grade copy, but pretty big Silver Age key, so you can see them right there. That's a really cool book. And then also Daredevil number six. It's, I think it's the first appearance of one of these characters, maybe this guy. I forget his name, but it's also the last issue that Daredevil has the uh, yellow suit, so pretty nice books there. Um, I thought I paid a fair price for them. Like I said, I should be able to dump my money, I think, so, and these are just, these books are just too cool to pass up, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time. What's up, guys? Willis Comics back with another video. Um, went to a pawn shop locally and found some comic books. Uh, paid $80 or $81 for everything. It was all, like, half off sticker price. Got some decent keys, and I'll show y'all, or some, some cool keys. I'm really excited about the ones that I got, um. But I tried to pick up some 12 centers because they were cheap. So a lot of army books. This is three bucks. Fighting Marines. Um, I'm actually in the military. So these I thought just thought they were cool. And they're 12 centers. Silver Age books. So, and in pretty decent shape. So, you know, for two and a half bucks, why not? Um, just because I'm trying to, trying to create, when I go to a show, a nice Silver Age, like, get enough books for people to flip through so i figured why not grab some silver age stuff for cheap um, i did leave some behind that were really beat but i grabbed the ones that i thought were cool tales the unexpected number 95 12 centers three bucks i mean it's a little beat but that cover is just really cool you know it's really colorful and whatnot anthro this one's actually in pretty good shape um paid four and a half dollars for that you know paid basically cover price for what books go for today um, this one was a little beat up, but again, it was just two and a half bucks. Really colorful cover. Why not? Captain Savage and his leather neck Raiders. 12 center Marvel. Number five. Cool book. Actually in pretty decent shape as well. Not too beat up. So why not for four and a half dollars? Uh, Daredevil, Marvel Knights, number one. It was just a bunch of random books. So it's not like 
any crazy runs of anything. And then this actually was what, one of the ones my buddy bought. He thought it was the f he's uh, he's a comic book guy, but not like a really hardcore comic book guy. He just thought it was the first series. We looked it up on Key Collector, but his phone didn't update, so he kind of bought this, not realizing. And I knew it as soon as he bought it. I was like, that's not the same book, bro. Um, but he paid fourteen for it, and he didn't want it, so he just gave it to me. Um, Hulk one sixty seven, really cool book there. Paid four bucks for a twenty cent Hulk book. Um, I think that's Modoc, right? Yeah, it's Modoc. Um, just a really cool cover in decent shape. So why not? And then these were the four keys that I thought were like I paid a little bit more than for. I've already got them bagged and boarded. Daredevil number twelve, twelve cents. Uh, I forget exactly why. It's first appearance of a character, but Kazar lives again. Definitely like a minor key, nothing crazy, but I paid ten dollars for this one, and it's not too torn up. I mean, it's obviously got some wear, but cool book. Aliens. It's, it's definitely like not mint. It's got some like I guess water damage or whatever. Maybe like it was like sitting in a moist area, um, but it is a second print. But still, I think I paid probably maybe five dollars for this one. Uh, this was a cool one. This is a House of Mystery 156, the first Robbie Reed. Again, it's beat up, but it's style H for hero. So, Silver Age first appearance. Couldn't go wrong with that. I think I paid $9 for this one, so that was good. And then the best book that I picked up today that I'm most excited about was Captain Marvel 26. I paid $11 for this. This is the second appearance of Thanos and the first cover appearance of Thanos. And I think it's the first appearance of Death. Maybe. But really, it's the first cover appearance of Thanos and then the second appearance. I paid 11 bucks for this one. It's obviously not mint, but can't leave that for $11. That's just super cool. So I got into Mylar, trying to make it look pretty. Um, but that's just a dope cover. So yeah, just try to get some 12 center Silver Age stuff and a few keys. I think there's definitely some money to be made in this lot. Um, I think these four books alone, I could probably make my money back, if not more on, so that's good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time. What's up, guys? Well, it's time to back another video. This is like the final part of the comic book haul that I've had since I've been home. Um, gonna buy some books for my buddy, but probably next time I come in. But there's a collector or a guy that I know, and he had a couple thousand books maybe and i was really interested in buying his stuff he had a lot of keys a lot of really cool stuff but it was just gonna be too much like it's a, it's just a family friend so i was being honest with him about the collection and paying him a fair price so uh basically i just i told him i was serious like i, I can't buy it all right now but i am serious about buying it so i bought basically a, a tub from him and i'll show you the books and the keys in there and then also I plan on buying a lot more so from him but we'll just run through it there's about a little under 300 books maybe it's about 300 but a lot of this is like a modern box there was nothing really vintage in here a lot of daredevil i bagged and board most of it but not all of it a lot of thor as well in this one uh, some astonishing x-men more thor that's all like a bunch of christmas presents i've gotten so sorry about that as well um spider woman uh, Mighty Avengers, some more Thor, uh, there's a few other smaller, like, runs, but there's all that, some Punisher stuff, but it's, it's a lot of, ma mainly Thor and Daredevil and some other, it's just all modern stuff, um, but these were the keys that I got from this, so we'll run through these real quick. Phil so Regatta Thunder number one. Journey into Mystery number 632. Kid Loki. I don't know if it's a first appearance. Thor Regatta Thunder number three. Number four. Number seven. Mighty Avengers number 29. That's a cool book. New Avengers number 53. Brother Voodoo becomes the Sorcerer Supreme, so that's a pretty cool little book right there. First Kid Loki. Uh, got 
got a Thunder number eight. There's a first appearance in there. I think there's a cameo of something, but Daredevil 21. Astonishing X-Men number 43, just a really popular cover. Uh, Daredevil 111, first Lady Bullseye, but the variant edition, so that's cool there. Thor got a Thunder number 5, Origin of Gore. Thor got a Thunder number 6, Cameo Appearance of Null. And then Thor got a Thunder number 2, the first appearance of Gore the God Butcher. So there's about 300 books. I paid up for a few of them, but then a few of them I didn't even realize were keys, but I paid $250 for them all. Um, I pretty much talk, I told him I'd give him, he, we basically agreed on half of some of the bigger books and then the bulk he just gave me for really cheap. So it ended up being a really good price for everything anyway, but he does have some really big books. He has a Spider-Man, uh, 129 first Punisher and a mid grade copy. It's not a high grade copy. It's definitely not low. It's like mid, you know, I don't know exactly what the number would be, but it is definitely a decent looking copy. And so he, he seemed like giving me a pretty good deal on that as well. So we'll 